Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have another 2v2 Iron Man, and it's going to be for $100 a team, so the winning team is going to win $100, and the losing team is going to lose $100. Also, make sure to go check out the Coliseum, that's where these Iron Mans and everything are posted, if you want to go play 1v1s, post bode, old formats, go check them out, link down below in the description, and with that being said, let's just hop right in. So, on team 1, we have Lay Buster Meme versus angel on team two and then we are going to see angel win the rock paper scissors shoe and they are going to decide to go first 40 versus 40 gotta love to see it opening hands we have Adara, ecclesia mo Yi, vessel and desire so they don't have any hard going second cards here then they have city desires roshi gg and talents so yeah their hand's pretty good here uh, the talents isn't going to do anything in this spot obviously Go ahead, City, bring out Choo Chi, and then they're going to activate GG effect, targeting the Choo Chi, go dump, and they're going to dump Ching Long, then activate Roshi, Roshi, target the GG, and then that's going to go dump Choo Chi, so summon out Choo Chi, it's going to increase the level of GG, turn those into a Zulkin, and then set desires. Zulkan effect to summon, and then Zulkan's going to bring out the Crystal Wing, activate Desires, and then go Banish and draw. So, Banish 10, and then draws into a Shan Wu and a Roshi. We can have the Banishes, we can see a Neon, a uh, Double Kirin, a Lulu, a Qinglong. Now, they can just go ahead, and they can activate the Qinglong Engrave to go search. And then just keep going from there. So banish, go grab Lulu, and then discard. They're going to discard the Sean Wu, and then activate the Lulu effect. So Lulu, target trap, and then go dump spell, summon, go search. I don't get why people do that. Like, they send, they summon, and they search. I mean, like, that's how the card is supposed to be used. But, like, I don't know. I just do it all at once. I feel like it's way easier, and, like, people get the point. And then activate Kieran effect. So now Kieran is going to dump and summon, dump, summon, and then banish, bring out GG, discard, neon effect, summon itself out, then get rid of those, go for mud dragon, neon, put back, and then activate the mud dragon effect to get rid of those, and then summon out invoked, and then slap those into a shen shen, and then Move to the end phase, GG add back, pass play, draw stroll. Um they're gonna activate desires here to go banish. This is not like an easy board to beat. You know, multiple interruptions and like two floodgate type cards. Looking at the banishes, we can see a sudden shift. Um an Ashina, nothing really bad here. You know, banishing one of these is okay. Most people are playing multiple, so banishing one doesn't really do too much. You can easily play with one in deck, draws vessel and droll, multiples that they already have. Uh, that should also be banished, yeah. Um, yeah, they just submit the fee. I, I was like, there's no way they try playing here, right? Like, you don't want to reveal what deck you're on. Desires doesn't, like, reveal what deck you're playing. So now. Moving on to the next game, we are going to see a Lay Buster meme go first. Opening hands, we have Long Young, Ash, Desires, Protos, and Appears. You're going to see a lot of people testing this card out just because you can search it off Appears. Because if you control Synchro, you can search any worm. You can grab this, and this card's a Floodgate versus certain decks. And then Choo Chi, GG, Lulu, Harpies, and Droplet. So they have like the combo to break a field. And then activate desires, banish, and then they get the draw. So banish 10, draw into an ash blossom and appear. Again, drawing multiples of cards they already have. Very unfortunate for them. They banish two Otterra. If they're only playing two, that sucks. Uh, the other two Oolong Young are banished. Hushuda. Now they are going to go ahead and activate appears. And then appears is going to grab Mo Yi. And then... Get rid of appears for Long Young. I'm not too sure why they would do this. Wouldn't you just do this and then appears go search Mo Yi instead of searching Mo Yi and then doing this? But go for floor and then burn him for 12. 
Yeah, normal summon effect, reveal, summon out a token. Then just get rid of those, go for the synchro, and then get those effects. Mo Yi, draw, and then synchro goes search. So they're gonna go grab the sudden shift, and then set it and pass turn. They can't summon this here because they don't have three different attributes. I mean like, they could banish off field to summon it out, but it's not really worth it. Honestly, this card versus like virtual world is just not the greatest. Um, against a deck like Dragon Link, Phantom Knights, this card is actually just ridiculous. Um, cer certain matchups it's really good, but um, Drytron, this is also very good. But in this matchup, not so. So they're gonna start off their turn and they're thinking they're gonna activate Desires. So go Banish 10. And then they're gonna Ash Blossom this, looking at the banishes. We see Ching Long, Chu Chi. Um, there's only one Roshi, right? Yeah, only one Roshi, so. They did like banish the other Chu Chi from deck and then activate Harpies. Um, I was gonna say they might just chain Droplet here. They aren't gonna chain Droplet. Um, that's interesting gg target and then they're gonna let this go through we'll chain droplet get rid of gg to negate okay go dumb ching Wong. and then activate the ching Wong effect banish itself go search roshi um all right so yeah go search and then discard Discard that. And then activate the Roshi effect. So that will go ahead. Target, dump, summon, then special summon back. Now, said big think. Get rid of those. Go for Charge Warrior. I want to see how long that took. It just felt like a while. Um, special summon back. All right. Like, Wait, was that two minutes? Yeah, not like a minute and a half. Not not that bad. We've seen a lot worse. We're gonna go ahead draw nib. Then overlay for M7. Go into the battle phase. Attack. Hit his half because of drop loop. And then main phase two. M7 effect. Detach. Try to bounce. Chain to negate. And then go into Zeus. And then pass turn. Um, all right, pass, draw Ashina, and then standby phase, um, they're going to activate this on that. I feel like, I mean, you, you are playing around like Baylor here, but you could also trick your opponent into maybe thinking you have talents. And also, like, Valor's not a card, like, I've seen, like, any Virtual World players really run, at least in a long time. So, they're going to go ahead and chain that out. And then, yeah, they're going to get the uh, Sudden Shift effect to summon out the token. Then, Ashina effect, Special Summon itself out. They are in main phase now. Um, forgot to change it. Also, they, they can't get rid of that yeah they're locked in the synchros only so they are going to activate the Ashina hand effect to banish and the opponent is going to let this go through so they're going to summon out the Adara and they are playing three Adara so summon that and then that is the third summon by the way go ahead get rid of those go for Baxia and then Baxia to out the Zeus. And then Adara effect. Banish to add. Adds the Mo Yi. And then normal summon out Mo Yi effect. Reveal. Summon out a token. And then on that summon. That is going to have them drop Nib. So tribute everything. Summon out Nib. Pass over a token. And now they can go ahead. Banish and summon this out. And then activate the effect, coin light, pop those, battle phase attack, 
Just getting in the damage here. Pass, draws GG. Now they're going to go to main phase. And they do have Qinglong in graveyard here. So that's going to get hit with Ash Blossom. And the reason why they Ash this is because if you don't, they could go ahead. They could add Nian, discard it, summon out any level 3, and then that's something. Um, they also have Chuchi and Graveyard, so that could be like many different things. And then, um, yeah, that got hit with Ash. And then, pass turn. Or like if they drew Neon, then they could go add something like a GG and discard the Neon. So, pass, draw Mo Yi. Said DB being bad, I guess. That's fair. So, battle phase, poke. For the 25 and then main phase 2 effect call dark and then pass turn uh checking ruling on that real quick yeah it's an also effect so it doesn't get destroyed but still locked um so you cannot call wind and lock me out there if there's no winds to destroy mm -hmm. so that called dark asking for my reference but okay yeah they don't have to tell you that there's no reason they would Draws GG. Now they're going to set, pass, draw desires, and then activate the desires. So go banish 10 and draw 2. So banish. We can look at those in a second. Um, we see sudden shifts gone. Doesn't really matter what's gone here. Just like trying to see what else is in the deck list. And then they can just go ahead, normal summon out Mo Yi, battle phase, attack, and then attack for game. So moving in into the game three now, we are going to see Virtual World decide to go first. Opening hands, we have Ashina, Adara, Driver, Adara, Chalice. This hand is weird. Um, it's not very great for sure. And then they have Gigi, Chinglong, City, Kieran, Hiroshi. Okay, yeah, their hand's nice. Go ahead and activate City, bringing out Chu Chi, and then activate Kieran, target the Chu Chi, dump and summon. So dump the Ching Long and the Neon, and then GG effect. So GG target monster to go dump, dumps Chu Chi, summon, and then Neon effect, summon itself out, Chu Chi effect to change the level. Uh, wait. Um, banished, sent, alright, um, yeah, I guess they're just gonna go ahead and turn those, wait, yeah, what? But like, I'm so confused. Are you lowering the level of this? Sex, so Chuchi was on Kieran. Wait, did they actually declare a target for Chuchi? Um, they played this like so weird. Let's see, declare GG, summon, pointing at monster, dump it, summon GG, declared Nia, Nia comes out, banish Chuchi, no target. That, I don't, like what? Goes for Shen Shen, banish Ching Wong. Grab Lulu, discard Roshi, activate the Lulu effect, targeting the Chu Chi. So they're gonna dump spell, summon, and then go search Roshi. And then activate the Roshi effect, targeting Chu Chi to go dump Neon, summon, special summon back out GG. Then they are going to activate Qinglong, banish, negating the Shen Shen there. Turn those into Zulkin. Turn those into Mud Dragon. Mud Dragon effect. Gosh, this was played so bad. Like, oh my goodness. That, that was tough. They just, I, I don't, I don't know what they were thinking with this Chu Chi at all. Like, I don't, I just don't know why they played the turn like anywhere near the way they did. I mean, the end board's not bad though, but could have definitely been a lot different. 
go ahead grab back Lulu like they're very well easily could have been like a crystal wing on top of this and then pass draw dark ruler alright fair enough I guess the crystal wing just didn't really matter so they're gonna activate but they were going for like a coral dragon or something they could have also got a draw or like a charge warrior could have given them a draw too depending how they played it but Ashina effect so summon that out they still have to go up against the pop here and then go for the monk on the summon they're going to activate Chu Chi to out the monk by shuffling back and popping it and then Adara effect summon out and then get rid of that go for monk now they are going to think here a lot oh my gosh how long are they thinking for i just pressed that like a hundred times um it's been like two and a half minutes all right normal summon activate banish summon out vishuda and then slap those into the synchro synchro effect and then this is gonna go grab the long young from the deck to the hand and then adara effect banish to add back so adds back to ashuna discard for the long young special summon special summon out a token now get rid of those it's going to go for duke um no point of even activating that like they can't take damage anyways so now uh, vishuda banished to bounce chuchi and then activate the duke effect it's going to banish chinglong and nian um they could nian effect there but they're going to go battle phase attack and then attack over that main phase two set house pass draw shan wu so now they are going to go ahead they're thinking here they're going to banish ching long ching long go grab gg and then discard the shan wu now they're going to banish for the shen shen effect so summon out the shen shen yeah they don't really need to do anything here um battle phase shen shen attack the monk uh, you have to remember that grand duke also makes the opponents lose attack so they're like yeah like the battle phase just wasn't scary at all there go ahead dump summon so now they're thinking about what they want to do Get rid of those they get banished because of shen shen summon out the charge warrior charge warrior effect chain chalice on it trading that with the draw right there and then they're gonna set shuchi which was you know already known since they bounced the last turn with the vushuda and then end phase they are going to be activating synchro banish and then duke effect banish chuchi banish shan wu Draws Ecclesia, and then go to the main phase, activate the effect, banish, negate Shen Shen, and then activate the Duke effect, banish Shen Shen and GG. Yeah, really just doing like the control here. Normal out Ecclesia, effect, tribute, summon Taiyi, and then, yeah, they're just gonna go for game effect. Yeah, they go GG, misplayed hard finding name what oh they oh it's a misplayed hard like find name for the next player okay okay um so we're gonna see emptiness 002 up next and we're gonna see team one have two lives left versus team two that has one life left let's go into that and then we're gonna see lay buster meme versus emptiness and then winning the rock paper scissors shoot we're gonna see emptiness and they are going to decide to go first 40 versus 40 gotta love to see it opening hands we have adarava shuda draw imperm and vessel so going second they have a few cards here well a few hard going second cards but shuda is also like a going second card because like it's going to be a bounce they don't do anything to it and then they have called by nib droplet pikachu and sign up mining so a normal summon effect Go search, and then that's gonna go grab the I meet you, and then drop draw and lock bird, and then they're gonna hit that with the called by there. Yeah, go ahead, banish that, and then go for dark infant, dark infant effect, 
grab the island, um, the act AI meet you, reveal fire, go search fire, and then activate special summon effect, go search Doyon, then get rid of those, go for Cyber's Wicked, go ahead, summon effects, banish, add back, putting counters on the cards, uh, yeah, just go search. And then get rid of those, go for Splash Mage, Doyon effect, add back the I meet you, field spell, summon wind, wind effect, dump Dan Mari, Splash Mage effect, special summon back out from the graveyard. And then go for Wind Pegasus, Wind Graveyard Effect, Special Summon back. And then they're going to turn these into a Dark Templar. And then Field Spell Summon, Dark Templar Effect, Chain Imperm on it, Set Droplet, End Phase, Take Damage. And then Pass Turn, Draw Mo Yi. It's crazy, like, their full combo just, like, got crippled to one Imperm. But Draw Mo Yi... And then activate Vushuda, Vushuda summon itself out, and then get rid of that, go for Monk, and then Vushuda effect, banish, bouncing the droplet, they're on two summons, and then activate Vessel, so Vessel's going to dump, and then go search, and then Adara effect, special summon itself out, and then Ashina effect, banish the special summon out from the deck, summons out Vushuda, and then get rid of those, they summon five times now. And then Baxia effect, bounce the monsters, activate the other effect that will pop, summon back out from the graveyard, and then right here they can either nib or nib won't be able to be activated. So go ahead, drop that, pass over a token. And then normal summon out Mo Yi, reveal, and then bring out a token, Get rid of those, go for the Synchro, and then Synchro and Mo Yi draw, go search Long Young, and then they're gonna discard, special summon, and then summon out a token, and this is just going to get rid of those. Yeah, go for Duke, effect a burn, and then go ahead and banish the Adara, add back, Duke, banish, attack, and moving on into the next game. Didn't show her to use. No, I did not use Adara, I used Ashina. They use the hand effect, uh, but go ahead and out those. And then moving on into the game two. We are going to see the Attic Nister player decide to go first. Opening hands, we have Imperm Ash, Sudden Shift appears in Ecclesia. So again, multiple going second cards, plus their engine. And then they have Amichu, Cross Out, Fire, Doyon, and Danmari. So they can stop one hand trap with this. Normal summon, effect, they let it resolve, go search out the Pikachu, then get rid of fire for Dark Infant, Dark Infant effect, to try to go search out the island, Shane Ash Blossom, they don't play Ash? Like, I just don't get people's, like, cross out theories, like, I, I don't, I don't know. Like, I feel like if you play cross out, you want to be able to hit the high impact cards and the most common cards. So that way cross out can like, you know, actually trade with a card. Cause now this card is just completely useless. Draw peak, like you're not hitting their engine. Special summon. I mean, right there, you know, they're gonna get hit with impermanent response anyways on the dark infant, but still wild go ahead special summon and then tribute off summon out from the deck summon out the tie and then activate appears appears go search grab the mo Yi, and then activate the effect banish and this will resolve so summon out the token and then get rid of those go for backsia and then effects go ahead spin the back yeah they just admit defeat uh yeah that's tough no, they lost to Ash one game, they lost to Imprim the other game. Low impact hand traps, by the way, but we're going to see GG's run back right now. Not right now, i got stuff to do. Okay, so we are going to see Team 1 win the $100, and Team 2 is going to lose the $100. Um, yeah, a little, little, little sweep by Buster Meme, but you know, it's a 2v2. Not, not as cool as like a 3v3 sweep, but still, 
Uh, very good for them that they won the money, obviously. Very, very, very quick fashion. Jeez, 11 minutes. 11 minutes to win the match. That's like a super quick match. And then also it's like a Coliseum match. That's like an Iron Man match. And usually those are a little bit longer since you have your friends coaching you on what to do. And wow, insane. But that's going to be it for the video. Again, make sure to go check out the Coliseum Discord link down below in the description. They have post bode like eight person tournaments running right now where you pay like ten dollars to get in and i'm pretty sure the winner gets like uh it's either 70 or 75 not 100 percent sure but you can go play and stuff like that they're hosting a lot more of those uh, i'm pretty sure they said they're going to start hosting more of those so you can go ahead check that out if you like playing like bode post bode and all that um yeah i think like post bodes way cooler than like current format um, but we still have seen some like cool stuff in current format like here and there. But with all that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.